Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, the 2019 question on, on algebra on the Leave Insert course, uh, again, uh, an algebraic fraction and a set of simultaneous equations. Right, let's, let's tackle part A first. So solve for x, 3x plus 1 over 5 plus x minus 2 over 2 equals 47 over 10. Okay, so common denominator of 10. Okay, anytime there's fractions, you're looking at a common denominator. Okay, so a couple of ways of doing it. Um, I would look at it as 5 into 10 goes twice, so it's 2 times 3x plus 1, plus 2 into 10, 2 into 10 goes 5 times, so it's 5 by whatever's on top of the 2, equals 10 into 10 goes once, so it's 1 times 47. Okay, or... You could, of course, get a common denominator of 10 and then multiply each part by the 10. Okay, so initially you take the common denominator and you work, you, work, you multiply each part individually by the 10. That is another way that it's done, okay? And what ends up happening is that five divides into 10 twice and you get the two that I have here. The two divides into the 10 five times and you end up with the five that I have here and 10 divides into 10 once and you end up with the one that I have here. So it's a case of whichever way makes more sense in your head, there isn't one way better than the other. But either way, you have to multiply 2 by 3x plus 1, 5 by minus 2, and then equals 47. So let's do that. 2 by 3x is 6x. 2 by 1 is 2. Plus 5 by x is 5x. 5 by minus 2 is minus 10. And that's equal to 47. Okay. When there's an equals to sign, when it's a solve, you can drop the bottom line then when everything is over 10. OK, we can drop the bottom line because it's a solve. OK, in fact, what we're doing is we're multiplying across by 10 and they cancel. OK, so let's tidy up. So just like I do in any other algebra, remember, we're doing a solve. So we're trying to find x equals down, down the end. So I'd like to see my x terms on the left and my numbers on the right. So x is to one side, numbers to the other. So I have 6x and 5x is 11x equals 47. He needs to go over this side and the plus 2 needs to go over the other side. So minus 10 becomes plus 10, plus 2 becomes minus 2. So I have 11x being equal to 47, 10 is 57, minus 2 is 55. Divide by the number in front of x, which is 11 and I get x being equal to 5. OK. So that's how you do that half. OK, solve the simultaneous equations. This is quite like the one we did for the 2017 paper. You take the first equation and you write it in terms of a letter. OK, so this is your linear equation. This, in this case, is a circle. OK, so remember what we have. We have a circle, we have a line, and we're trying to find these points of intersection, these x comma y's that they have in common. Okay, solve the simultaneous equations. So if I was to write that first one in terms of a letter, I would write it as x equals, I would bring the minus five over. I wouldn't write it in terms of five or in y, in terms of y, because I'd have to divide across by five. Okay, so I was gonna end up with fractions. So this one you would write as x equals um, 5y minus 13 or minus 13 plus 5y. Okay, 
and you take that 5y minus 13 when you sub it in for x. OK, so that that second equation then becomes 5y minus 13 squared. So it's I, I'm subbing that in in place of x and there's a squared there. That's why the squared is here. And of course, I leave the plus y squared equal to 13. So he is 5y minus 13 by 5y minus 13 plus y squared is equal to 13. Okay, lots of 13s. OK, and then you can split the first bracket if you wish so that you have 5y by everything in the second bracket and go back for the minus 13 by everything in the second bracket plus y squared is equal to 13. And then go mad multiplying. So 5y by 5y, 25y squared. 5y by minus 13 is minus 65y. Minus 13 by 5y is minus 65y. Minus by minus is a plus 13 by 13 is 169. Plus y squared is equal to 13. So then we tidy up. My y squareds tidy together. So I'm going to get 26y squared. I then going to tidy my y's together. So minus 65 minus 65 is minus 130y. I'm going to bring that 13 over and it's going to become minus 13 so that I have 169 minus 13 being uh, 156 is equal to zero. I'm trying to see if I divide across by 26, would that work? Okay, wouldn't it be lovely if I could get rid of that 26 in front of the y squared? Okay, um, so I'm on my calculator, I'm just doing 130 divided by 26 and I get five, that's good. 156 divided by 26 and I get six, uh, that's good. So I could divide across by 26 so that I get y squared minus 5y plus 6 equals 0. OK, and that's far easier to solve than the other one. No problem at all if you wish using the minus b formula on this, where a is 26, b is minus 130, and c is equal to 156. If I can find the factors, or if I can not simplify, that's exactly how I would do it. OK, so let's factorize him. You split the y squared here into y and y. I'm going to split plus 6 into factors that gives that when I add them gives me minus 5. So I have plus 3, 3 twos, minus 3, minus 2. Of course, I have 6 and 1, or minus 6 and minus 1. OK, so which one's there when I add them gives me minus 5? This one here, minus three and minus two. And that's how you know which are the right factors to use for six. It's the ones that gives you the minus six in the middle. So that's equal to zero. So y minus three, you can split them. Y minus three is equal to zero. So y is equal to three. Y minus two is equal to zero. So y is equal to two, okay? So there's your two y ones, okay? You're not finished yet because you have to find your corresponding x's. So again, just like any other simultaneous, I could sub them into either equation or, you know, this one, which is the, just the first equation um, changed around. So this one here is actually the easiest one to sub them into. So um, x is equal to 5y minus 13. Well, when y was 3, x is equal to 5 times 3 minus 13. 5 threes are 15, which is 2. OK. So that is the point x comma y two three. And then when y was two, x is equal to five times two minus 13. Five twos are 10 minus 13 is minus three. So that is the point x comma y. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, 
are the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.